Not too long ago, we announced this new e-learning called How to Become a Successful Freelance Photographer. This is a fantastic course that is launching right now as we are adding video lessons to it. You're going to learn effectively how to turn freelance photographer into a successful long-term business. I'm going to teach you how you can get started correctly. Lower your overhead, not to spend too much money on equipment. How you can do all this without sacrificing and jeopardizing your full-time job. I'm going to teach you how you can get great locations for your shoot without owning a studio. And you can even work with professional studios and get amazing rates and learn how you can work with them on a long-term basis. In these lessons, I'm going to be bringing you to work with some experienced and high-profile studios and shoot with them and teach you what I would do and what they would love to see freelance photographers do. This will make your service long-term and in demand. And not only you get lessons, you get the certification to go along with this as well in this course. So we are launching this course right now. If you head on to this link, which is in the description, if you sign up now, you still get a special price of this instead of this fully launched price. So hurry, this price will not last long because we're gonna be launching fully in the next couple of days. So quickly, don't miss this offer. Oh, this is an awesome place. Look at the background. I know that this is a little bit underexposed here. This is about four stops, three stops to four stops, darker than the background. I realized that I don't need to be on the pontoon itself. I just need to be away and get this at the background. And then I can frame this apartment buildings at the back and this railing here. And the difference of three to four stop of darkness and brightness between the background and the foreground is going to be fantastic. So when you're doing wrecking, it's important for you to take note of the exposure and the difference in exposure as well, so that you know what to do with your camera. The worst thing is just to come and look at the location and think it's nice, but on the actual day of the shoot, you realize that you're fumbling with your camera I now know that if I were to shoot this I need to use an f number of 5.6 to get the detail of the background and I can use an ISO 200 and the time now is 6 p.m. this is the time that I normally bring my clients out for evening shoots then I can be shooting this at the shutter speed of 1 over 200 and the background is going to be spot on subscribers we are now at La Femme Bridal Mansion come let me tell you why I'm here Remember I was telling you about maintenance once you own a studio look at all these wedding gowns it's not like you can hang them there for months and not wear it. They're gonna grow fungus. They're gonna grow moldy. They're gonna have that stale smell. The only thing that you can learn from, from Paul is that the bride and groom will always take a long time to get ready and this is where you have already done all the shoot. So he's got a 2470. No, 7200. doesn't look like a black backdrop. What is this? This is the seamless LED wall. You mean the whole thing is an LED? Yes. 7 meters plus 7 meters is 4 meters high. Okay. Okay, so when you mean seamless, I can actually bring a footage in here, plug it into your computer and this whole thing, if I have a dolphin moving, I can have it swimming from... Yes. Wow. Which means I don't need green screen. No need. This is something quite interesting when I was talking to Andrew. Uh, you know, clients always come up to freelance photographers and videographers asking for discount. Andrew said something quite interesting. Instead of asking for discount, oh, what was it you're saying? The you, L can, you, can, you can use the TV if you want. Yeah, the, t yeah. the LCD panel is not included in the price. Yeah, but it's so, you want to use it? Yeah, use it. Then I'm not going to give you a discount, but you have access to the TV. Exactly. 